Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about rejection and not really, you know, setting goals and not meeting them. And we're going to talk about two particular instances that happened to me where I got rejected twice in the last week. Because uh, I think it's important. Too often do we simply talk about the, not just necessarily like me, but in general, you know, we're we're all in that Instagram sort of life. Like, I, I don't use Instagram. Uh, I have one, but I don't really use it. Uh, but the, the point I'm trying to make is most people are just showing you the good stuff. Most people are just showing you the highlights, the, you know, I worked for 10 years and this is the one image you get that you see, or like, you know, when it's so much more than that. And you have to understand that like success is built on a mountain of failure, but each one of those failures is a lesson. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that. I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've been partnered up with Dev Mountain for a couple of years now, and I've had the chance to see multiple campuses and housing. I've been really impressed. Dev Mountain has a couple different programs from web dev to iOS development, software QA, and UX design. Some are after-hours part-time programs, and f some are fully immersive programs where they actually include housing at no additional cost so you can get up and go. If you're interested in finding out more, there's a link in the description below. So the first thing that you sort of have to really realize about rejection and failure, that's what we're talking about, we're talking about failing, is that it, it's part of life, and I fail all the time. And the reason I, I fail is I oftentimes try to stretch my goals. I try to stretch aggressively what it is I can accomplish, and nine times out of ten, I'm not going to succeed in making that jump but you know one time at 10 i might and obviously you want to succeed as much as you can but too often do i think people don't challenge themselves enough so in the last week or so i uh, i just got back in town i was doing a little bit of the digital nomad thing i was in salt lake city visiting visiting ricky and i got two big l's uh l's being lessons <laughs> um uh two big rejections and failures for things i was very excited about the first one was uh ng conf speaker so for those of you who don't know i did my very first conference uh talk i should say I did my first conference talk at defes uh or orlando in 2019 and i loved it so much and I had been planning on going to NGConf, and I said, you know what, why don't I see if I can just speak at it? And, um, you know, I've been working at Angular for three years, and I think I could do an interesting talk on uh, RxJS and Angular, maybe eliminating the pub. So I submitted about four talks, <laughs> um, and it didn't happen, right? And I, you know, I wasn't necessarily expecting it to happen, but I will be trying for those larger conference talks, and even the smaller ones. I'm always happy to continue to... Uh, talk at anything really I, I i had such a good time giving uh my first conference talk that i i will continue continue to do it i i'm just very much so looking forward to it so that's the first thing uh first big l i got um the second one was something that i i cared a little bit more about like <laughs> that i was looking forward to and that was the google developer expert program uh so if you're not familiar with the the gde program as they like to call it the um, that program is one that Google has where Googlers, uh, the people who work, not like you and me who Google for a living, uh, people who work at Google find people outside of Google who are giving back to the community and knowledgeable in um, a Google technology. In my instance, uh, Google makes Angular. I've worked with Angular for a while, and I was uh, that's what I went in for. So. Uh, for me, they didn't, they uh, submitted. So you have to be recommended, by the way. If I if I didn't make that clear, so you can only apply um, if someone recommends you, uh, which was kind of weird because uh, I I sort of commented on this and I uh, on my community tab about how like you know uh, I got rejected from this, I got rejected from that, and like people were like, you're just you're just trying to use Google's name to promote yourself. It's like, dude, they literally have to invite you. Like they want me <laughs> to help promote them in a sense. Um, which sort of brings me to like an off tangent of like, whenever you have people who are just attacking you or like just trying to always have a negative spin on what your look is digitally, it's much harder in your, in your household. But when it's in a digital environment, 
every social media platform in the world has a, a easy way of taking away negativity and it's just called block i'm not talking about criticism i'm simply talking about people who who um you know are just always gonna not like you for who you are block them this is sort of a side tangent but i do think that is the best way of dealing with it um cut out the cancer from your online life uh, anyhow uh, back back to the point but yeah so um they uh i i submitted my details and whatnot about the projects i've done about the stuff that i've been working on and uh unfortunately they, they didn't feel i was a good fit um so there's a you know a couple other things that I have to do to maybe do it again. The cool thing about that is that um, once you sort of get submitted once, you do have the ability to reapply down the road when you've added some more um, com noteworthy things in the community. Uh, so I, I am looking forward to doing that. But uh, so th those are two L's I took in the same week. It never feels good. I, I don't want to sit here and tell you that when you when you fail when you get rejected, when any of that stuff happens, that you're going to just have a smile on your face, that you're just going to, you know, just be stoked about it. I, I was not stoked about it. I'm not stoked about it. But I do think that um, I'm, I'm glad that I put myself out there, and I'm, I'm glad that I have, uh, you know, worked very hard to have some confidence when I go <laughs> and attempt these things because – if I hadn't, what about all the other successes, right? What about all the other ways that we were able to get better and all the other ways that we were networking? And even the way that I, I went and got uh, recommended for the GDE program was um, meeting some meeting uh, one of the other uh, conference speakers who was at the conference that I spoke at. Because I, in that case, I reached out. I said, hey, I want to speak at your conference. And you know, I just got rejected from one, but yeah, you know, I got accepted to another and, and so on and so forth. But too often are we afraid to fail and it's not a, it's not a good thing. And I, I think it's become worse over the years due to the press, pre, uh, the presence of things like social media, where so often all you see is the glamour. All you see is the, the, the niceties, right? And, you know, it, I, I might be guilty of it as well, where, my life is, um, you know, I don't necessarily always show the, the bad stuff happening in life. Um, but the, the failures are part of the process. And, you know, when you go and, um, I was talking with April and she's interviewing for jobs and I, um, I got her interview with somebody that I know. And she's like, I really wish you didn't give me that interview yet because I'm not ready. And I, I sort of told her like, listen, um, you're never going to feel ready. <laughs> and that is that is a myth. Uh, but you will feel failure, and you'll realize it's not that bad. And too often do we go out there and uh, or not go out there because we're afraid of failing without ever having really failed, right? So it's go experience failure, and you'll realize it's not as bad as you as your head makes it up. It's almost like you know adults postpone or excuse me, children postpone, adults tackle issues head on in life. And failure is very, very, very much so the same where you need to go and be aggressive and challenge yourself. That is how you're going to make the greatest leaps and bounds in your life. That is how you're going to um, not li to live a life worth living. That is how you're going to succeed long term, right? Um, if you have failed, uh, fail your way to success, right? If there's a hundred ways to fail and only one way to succeed, fail a hundred times till all you have left is success. And I hope you guys are taking some sort of approach. I don't hope you just keep failing, 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 but I hope you're not afraid of failing. I hope that you're going out there and you're giving it your all. <laughs> and when it doesn't work out, I'm not going to say it's, you're going to feel great, but don't harp on it too long. Sit there, say that, that sucked. <laughs> um... And, you know, maybe the next day, keep it moving. You know, you can give yourself like a day to feel kind of shitty about yourself. But uh, the, the, too often people want to feel sorry for themselves for way too long, um, like a half an hour. You can feel sorry for yourself about a half an hour and then uh, get back to it. Um, no longer than that. But, yeah, so try and think about that. Challenge yourself. Whatever it is that you're going for, is it is it something that you can easily obtain? 
if it is, you're probably not challenging yourself enough, right? Is, you know, whether it's that new role, hey, are you only going for technologies you're absolutely comfortable in? Are you looking for some new technologies where, yeah, you're going to have to ramp up and, and grow? Are you looking to advance your career very rapidly? Yeah, you're going to have to interview and you're going to fail some interviews. You're going to do this and that. There's a bunch of stuff that for the greatest gains oftentimes require a higher level of failure. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you can't succeed. It just means it's going to maybe be a little bit longer of a journey, going to have a few road bumps. So keep that in mind and don't take this approach that failure and rejection is the end-all be-all because at the end of the day, they're just lessons and it's part of the process. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Check out my courses in the uh, description below. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.